This is my girlfriend, Helen. Hi. She's gonna be going on a rare fish shopping spree. We have a fish in here that's getting really big and we're gonna have to move him to the monster pond. Look how big he is, guys. Oh my gosh. Got him. Ow. Look at the teeth on these guys. Ow. Oh my gosh, that thing is vicious. He's trying to fight me. Look at this thing. Look how big he's gotten. How much money did you spend? What? Oh my god, I see another fish right there. No way, Helen. Look at this. Oh, what? Oh, he's really puffing up. The man said it's like a shark. A shark? What is in the bucket? Oh my. Oh my god. I've never even seen one before. What's up, VFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we're going to be buying some crazy rare fish. You guys have seen me buy fish before. We've done it many times. And most recently, we bought two massive Siberian sturgeon. And we put them into my monster predatory fish pond. And before that, guys, we've made countless videos buying rare, expensive fish. If you guys want to see all the crazy rare fish that we've bought, just go check out the past videos. And like I said, guys, we're going to be buying more fish today. However, we're going to switch it up a little bit this time. You've seen me buy the fish. All the crazy crazy rare and expensive fish but today to switch it up we're gonna be having my girlfriend go on a rare fish shopping spree this is my girlfriend helen Hi. and today she is gonna be the one buying the fish now helen is quite the fish expert she knows quite a bit about fish what's your favorite fish arowanas arowanas guys if you watch the channel you know helen loves her arowanas so i'm sure we could just expect a bunch of arowanas today so right here guys i have my card and i'm gonna give it to helen she's gonna be going on a rare fish shopping spree she's gonna go to a ton of fish stores try to find the rarest fish doesn't matter how much it is no budget she's gonna buy it come back and surprise me and you guys here's my card helen remember no budget but you know just try to not spend too much money i'm gonna go find the biggest arowana <laughs> she's probably gonna come back with like a four foot long arowana but i'm actually really excited guys helen does know her fish and she's been asking to do this for a long time you look you look like you got something up your sleeve maybe i do oh my god i'm nervous okay <laughs> well i don't know what she's gonna buy i don't even know if she does but she's gonna be going on a fish shopping spree and she's gonna to come back and she's gonna be putting them into this pond now this pond doesn't have many fish in it yet this is a new pond that we just set up and right now all it's in it is just a bunch of little platies for bait and then a couple puffer fish now this little guy is one of our puffer fish and he is in jail as you can see i set this up for him because he was actually attacking all of my other fish so we put him in here so this is where helen's gonna be putting all the fish i'm not gonna see any of it and i'm gonna have to come in here with a net scoop it around and it's gonna be a little fish scavenger hunt we've done this before and i love these videos the mystery of not knowing what's in there is so exciting and i can't wait to get in there and see what helen bought so it is now time guys helen has the full day to find some crazy fish helen get on it find something crazy Okay. <laughs> and while Helen's on her mission, we have a mission of our own. Before we get more into the video, guys, I want to talk to you about today's sponsor, Timu. Now, Timu is one of the world's biggest online shopping websites right now, offering the best deals for literally anything that you are looking for. That means fish traps, fishing nets, literally anything, and they are the best deals. And right now, guys, the deals are even crazier because it is their anniversary and they got some really cool stuff going on. They are literally offering thousands of products for only a dollar, you guys. You heard that right only a dollar and timu app users can check out all those deals and they can also check out my picks through my exclusive link in the description and they are offering an extra 90 percent off selected products now guys there is a reason timu is the number one free app on the app store and that is because the prices just can't be beat now timu sent me a bunch of items and i'm really excited to check them out and try them check it out guys behind me is a bunch of the products that they actually sent me to try and like i said this is an online marketplace so it doesn't matter what you're looking for they're gonna have it this is just some items that i can benefit from and yeah guys we got some really cool stuff here and you will not believe the prices on some of these items now look at this we got a headlamp right here this thing is only three dollars like how is that possible we got more flashlights right here now these are actually like legit flashlights they're really bright i was using them last night and look at this one's eight dollars and one is five dollars like how is that even possible i'm honestly like really upset i didn't know about this before because i definitely would have been taking 
taken advantage of it. These items are insanely cheap and they're high quality. Like they're actually good. So guys, seriously, you have to take advantage of this stuff. I mean, look at this night vision binoculars, a little mini mosquito killing lamp. And look how cool this little mosquito killing lamp is. You just press this button and boom, you're ready to go. We also got some really cool stuff here, like a wireless microphone, even a freaking security camera. And that security camera right there is only $40. I don't know if you guys know how much security cameras are normally, but it's not $40. And the microphone is only $6. Like what? They even sent me a freaking drone, like a real legit drone. And this thing is only $20. Look at this. It is a real legit drone with a remote controller for $20, guys. That is literally insane. You have to go check it out. Click the link in the description. It'll take you to a list where you can buy all these products. I cannot wait to fly this. That is so cool. They also sent me this. This is called a neck fan. Now, I didn't know this was a thing until now, but let me tell you guys, I am never taking it off ever again. I mean, this is amazing. This is life changing right here, guys. You got to get one of these. See, so yeah, guys, I cannot wait to use all this and try it out. They even sent an accessories gift box for phones, and I'm definitely using this website from now on to buy all my fishing nets, fish traps, and all that stuff. Because, I mean, look at this. Look how cheap this stuff is. $5 for a fish trap. 10 bucks for a net right there. Look at this. $10. $10. So, trust me, guys. You do not want to miss out on all these crazy deals. No matter what you're looking for, you're going to find it on Timu, and you're going to find it for the best price. And go down in the description. It will take you to my link. You can see all my picks there. You can try them yourself. And you can get some crazy deals up to 90% off unselected products. And, yeah, guys, this is crazy. Thank you, Timu, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. All right, guys. So, we now have Christian behind the camera. It's Today we have a lot of stuff to do here at my house. We have a lot of fish to move, a lot of fish to feed. So it's gonna be a long day and hopefully by the time we're done, Helen will be back with those crazy fish. But right here behind me guys is the Oscar pond. Now we have a fish in here that's getting really big and we're gonna have to move him to the monster pond. So you can see all my monster fish in here guys, but you can't see him that well. Now if you look at the Oscar army guys, you can see the fish really well. The water's crystal clear and it's really easy to see the fish. And I've been wondering recently why it's so hard to see the fish in the predator pond. Cause if you look in here, the water's literally crystal clear and then it occurred to me guys that is because there's no placos in here we got placos in my oscar army and what they'll do is they'll eat all the algae on the bottom here and it makes seeing the fish a lot easier and i just realized that we don't have any here guys that's why it's so dark and that's why it's so hard to see the fish so today we're going to be getting some monster placos putting them in here and they're going to make it crystal clear and we're going to be able to see the fish a lot easier but before we do that guys a fish has outgrown the oscar army we're going to have to get in there wrestle them catch them and bring them to that pond because right now as you can see we got a lot of little oscars in here a lot of cichlids and this catfish is getting monster okay this was supposed to be like a little kiddie pool for them to graduate into the big pond and well our red tail catfish nemo has certainly done that if you look in the back we got some red tail catfish but that one is really big he's a lot bigger than when we put him in here and that right there is nemo we caught him he was just a little baby when we got him and he's grown so quick and i think he's finally big enough to put in the monster pond so here we go guys we got a net we're gonna try and catch him out right now this is pretty scary. There's so many fish in here. I'm looking around. There's so many catfish too. I forgot all the catfish we put in here. Look at this. Look, here's one of the little baby red tails. I'm not even kidding right now, guys. I'm going to catch this guy just to show you, but this was how big Nemo was. Come on, buddy. Get in the net. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Look at that. That's a little red tail. And that right there is just a little baby. That's how big Nemo was. We put him in here a few months ago and he's literally like tripled in size. Oh, so we're going to let that guy go. And one day he will join the monsters. Here's Nemo. Come on, buddy. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's not Nemo. Oh, Oh my god look at this we got a little catfish or some oh, we have so many in here i don't know which one this is that's that mystery catfish look how cool that is guys he's got little spots on him kind of looks like a tiger shovel nose but like i said he has spots and not stripes so we don't even know what this guy is we don't know his potential we don't know how big he will get if you guys do let me know we'll let him go oh i got him he's in the net oh my gosh look how big he is guys oh my gosh nemo what happened to you oh he's so big he's so strong too wow okay relax oh okay we get it you're a big guy now all right look at this oh wow he's got great colors too he's gonna look so good when he gets bigger look at this you guys oh my goodness hey buddy this right here is a red tail catfish one of my favorite fish of all time can you please stop it he's not nearly as big as the ones in the monster pond but the reason we're putting him in there today is because he can grow a lot faster in there and he's too big for the red tails to eat 
Look how big and bulky he is. Oh my gosh. And the colors too. He is beautiful. Look how cool that is. Little Nemo's gotten big. All right, you guys, we're going to move into the monster pod right now. Mwah! I love you, Nemo. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. Wow, look how big he is. That's literally the same size Baby Blaze was a few months ago. And Baby Blaze is like double his size. So being in this big pond, they get a lot bigger, a lot quicker. So look at that, guys. We got our monster catfish right there. We got a rip saw. We got a hybrid. We got red tails. And now we have another addition to the army our little baby Nemo. So now guys, like I said, we're gonna try and catch some monster Placos, put them in here, and hopefully they'll eat all the algae on the bottom, making seeing these fish a lot easier. I think I know a spot we can get some. All right guys, we're here at the front pond, and we have a ton of giant albino Placos in here, as you can tell. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna catch them out and bring them to the predator pond, because we have so many cool fish in the predator pond, I don't think it would be right to have just a bunch of normal Placos. And then I just realized we have a couple red tails in here, and I think they've outgrown this pond, so we're gonna add them to the Oscar pond. There's one right there. Oh, he got it. I'm going to get in there right now, try to catch out these fish, and we're going to get them into their new homes. We got a lot of fish in here as well. Hopefully, they don't eat my toes. There's a giant one back there. That's the biggest one. Three, two, one. Oh, he got away. Dang it. Oh, look at that. Back there, there's two big ones. Got him. Oh, yes, I got him. Oh, he's finding me. This is the one that we caught out of the sewer. Look how giant he is, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is the perfect size to put in the prairie pond. And you'll actually be able to see him because they're freaking albino. Okay, there he goes. Sweet. And that one right there is actually even bigger. Here we go. I got him. Ow. Oh, God. Got him. Oh, got him. Oh, that hurt. He really got me there. But we caught him, guys. Look at this. This right here is an albino sailfin placo. Look at the colors on that guy. That is such a cool fish. Look at the red eyes right there. All right, we'll get him in there with his buddy. You can see the difference there between them. One's a lot darker than the other one. This guy's a chocolate. This one's straight albino. Oh, and there's one more chocolate one. He's actually right down here. I see him. I got him. I got him. He's stuck in here. Got him. Yes. Ow. Oh, that hurt. He got me good. But we got him, guys. Check that out. Now, he's not as big as the other guys, but he's big enough. So there we go, guys. We got our three Placos. We're going to go ahead and move them to the prairie pond right now and get them in their new homes. Look how disgusting this is. So much algae. Now, that's actually not bad for the fish. It's actually good for them, but it makes seeing them a lot harder. So these guys will eat that and get rid of it. Here we go. There goes one Placo. Look how big he is. Oh my gosh. Look how cool that is. That thing is massive, you guys. And here goes the second one. This is a chocolate Placo. Go clean that algae. There goes the third and final Placo. There he goes. Look at him down there. Oh my gosh. You can see him from a mile away. There's one, there's two, and there is three. Look at that, you guys. There's the new red tail and all three of the albino Placos. They're all in that corner. Now, guys, we're going to catch out those two little baby red tails. We're going to bring them to the Oscar Army. Got him. Yes, check that out. Got one of the red tails, guys. Oh my gosh, he had gotten so big. Look at this little guy. He's so chunky. Wow. Oh, he's so fat. Okay, we're going to get him into the bucket, guys. <laughs> God, this is the fattest one I've ever seen. Look at that belly. <laughs> we're going to add him to the bucket there. But there's one more in here, so let's try to catch him out. Got him. I got him. I got him with my hand. Yes! <laughs> we got another one of the red tails. This guy's a little bit smaller, I think. Not as fat, so it looks like the other one was actually hogging the food. So, you know what? I'm thinking about it right now. Just because these guys need to eat a lot. I think we're actually going to leave this guy in here because it looks like the other one's out competing him for food. We're going to add him back into the pond, but it's really cool to see how good he's doing. All right, buddy, say goodbye. We'll see you when you're a monster. Okay. All right, guys, now we're going to add the one red tail into the Oscar pond. All right, there he goes into the Oscar pond. Ow! The Oscar just bit me. I thought I'd bring you guys along today, show you what I do every day. We're always moving fish around and we're not done guys. We have some fish that we need to feed right now and we actually need to catch some live food for them. Now, like I said, guys, in this pond, we have a breeding colony of platys. What we're going to do right now, we're going to stick our net in there, catch a bunch of them and then go feed my insane vampire fish, the fish with giant teeth. Hopefully we don't catch the puffer fish on accident. We'll put them in the bucket. There they go. All right, here we go, guys. We got some platys. There they go. Let's see the vampire fish eat. Oh, he's gonna smoke it. Oh, oh, they see it, they see it. Here comes one. Oh my gosh, like lightning. Literally in a split of a second, they go for it. And if you blink, you'll miss it. Got it. Look at those teeth, you guys. Oh my gosh, that thing is vicious. Look at that. Wow. Now guys, inside of this pond, we got our giant Matamata turtle and our albino softshell turtle. However, I haven't seen that turtle eat yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab him, put him in the bucket with the little fish and hopefully we could get him to eat. There he is, I see him right here. Please don't bite me. Oh, he's trying to bite me. He's trying to bite me, look at this thing. <laughs> okay, will he eat the fish? Let's try a tilapia flame. Maybe he'll eat that. Eat it. Oh, he went for it. 
buddy. Oh, he's biting himself. What is wrong with this thing? We'll leave him be. He does look pretty healthy. We just haven't seen him eat, you know, physically. Well, guys, as you can see, there's always a lot to do here. But now we're going to wait for Helen to get back with all the fish that she bought. I'm expecting a lot of arowanas. I'm really excited, though. So we'll see you guys once Helen gets back. All right, guys. Now, what Bobby doesn't know is that I've actually been preparing for this video for like a week now. I already know what I'm going to get. I just need to go pick it up. I guess I will see you guys when I get back. All right, you guys. Well, it's been a few hours. And as you can tell, Helen just got back. Did you put all the fish in there? Are they in? Okay, they're in the pond right now. That white pond right there. I haven't seen anything. She texted me, ready. So I came out here. I am really nervous, okay? One thing is, though, if she did get an arowana, I'm going to see it right away because they swim at the top. Okay, tell me this, ready? How many fish in total did you buy? I don't know, like... 10. Okay, 10. 10 is not bad. Okay, now the real question, ready? How much money in total did you spend? 3,000? What? Are you serious? You said no limit. Yeah, but like I said to go eat 3,000. Helen, are you are you actually serious? Yeah. What? Wait a minute. You bought 10 fish. $3,000. How? Yeah. I've never even spent $3,000 on fish in a day. Where did you go? I'm like really excited now, but um yeah, we're definitely we're definitely not making any money on this video. Oh my Helen, where'd it go? I just saw an arowana. Look, yeah. there he is, there he is. Oh, there's a little arowana. Okay, well, there's one of the fish. We know what one of them is. Little arowana, that's a big shocker. All right, well, I'm gonna get a net right now. We're gonna net around in this pond. We gotta get this guy out of jail first, though. We got a little puffer fish here. Let's get started, guys. We're gonna get a net and see if we can catch out any of these fish. Here we go. This is the puffer fish we caught out of the fountain there. You guys said it was a humpback puffer. He's really cute, but he's actually really mean. We found that out recently, so that's why he's in jail. Over here, we have a little fish tank, little 20 gallon set up. And what this is for, when we catch the fish out of the pond, we're gonna throw them in here so we can get a good look at them. I'm gonna start with that arowana. Look at him. Here he is in the corner. Oh, 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 he's going crazy. We got him. Oh no, there we go. We got him. Is he gonna fit in here? Little arowana. He's really cool though. He's, he's really tiny, but he's feisty. Okay, let's get him in the aquarium. All right, there goes the little weenie. Now at the end of this video, obviously we're not gonna keep him in this tank. So once we catch everything out, we're gonna have to figure out places to put him. Oh my God, I see another fish right there. The heck is that? Oh, I got one. What is that? Helen, did you get this one? Do you know what this is? What is it? Tell me. I have no idea. Oh, I don't know. You don't know? You bought it. I have no idea. That's really cool though. I've never seen this fish. How much was it? I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. Well, that's a good choice. I mean, that's a really cool fish. I've never seen it before. So that's, you know, bonus points. Sweet, let's keep going and see what else we could catch. Oh, oh, I got a fish. Oh, I got two fish. What is that? Oh, oh my, oh my God. No way, Helen. Look at this. Holy crap, where did you find that? Look at that. That's a flower horn. And a really pretty Oscar, which is going crazy. That's like a... Like a big chili red Oscar. That's beautiful. Wow. So he's really cool. We'll get him in the tank right now. There you go, buddy. Wow, that's a really cool Oscar. This guy right here, I've actually never had one before, but I've always wanted one. That is a flower horn. That is so cool. That's a really pretty one too. Oh my gosh. You guys, these fish right here are vicious. You can only keep them with themselves. No other fish because they're so aggressive. And the tank is crowding up. So I think what we should do, we should take all the fish that we've already caught right now, find their homes for them, and then we'll try to catch out the rest of the fish what are we halfway there we got one two three four got about six more to go i think we'll start off with this little flower horn we got the perfect tank for him all right guys check it out we're here in the fish room and we got an empty 20 gallon right here which is perfect for this little flower horn oh my god look at him oh my gosh i can't wait till he gets big guys these fish get massive next guys we got that little oscar we're gonna add him to the oscar army all right buddy there you go join your friends oh he looks great in here all right, next is this little arowana. And we're gonna add him to the other fish tank here in the fish room. There he goes, look at that. Little baby silver arowana. Wow, he looks great in here. We're gonna add this guy to the little aquarium with the Pippa Pippa frog. Just until you guys tell me what this is, cause Helen bought it and she doesn't even know. So before we can find a nice permanent home for him, we'll add him to this tank. All right guys, well, we got some crazy fish so far. It looks like Helen just went to fish stores. Didn't look at the prices, just bought whatever she thought was cool. There's some good stuff in here, but I. I I gotta be honest, I don't know how it's $3,000. Trust me, you'll see in a minute. Really? Oh, what the? What was that? Oh, I got, oh, it's the puffer fish. Oh wait, that's not the one we 
Wait, what? Ellen, did you buy a puffer fish? Oh, he's puffing up. You bought this? Yeah. You bought a puffer fish. I was about to say, that's the one that we put in here from the abandoned pool. But that's a different kind, I think. Yeah, he reminded me of the one that we caught in the pool. So I got him. <laughs> it's not the same kind, though, I don't think, right? Oh, he's really puffing up. Okay. <laughs> go on, buddy. Get into the tank. There he goes. You'll see in a second. If we can catch him out of here, there's another one in here. It's a lot bigger. That is insane right there. I've never seen one before. And yeah, he is adorable. Okay. Another fish down. We're going to get back in there. See what else we can catch. There was something big though. This is really exciting. Helen, you did great. You got some crazy stuff. All right, we've caught five fish, I think. So what? Whoa, look, look right here. He's jumping. We got him. Look at this guy. What's up, buddy? Now, this is the guy that we caught out of the abandoned pool last video. You can see he looks completely different than this guy. You know what? We'll get him in the tank so we can compare them. There goes the one that we caught. They're meeting for the first time. Oh, 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 he's going crazy. All right, I don't think they like each other, so we're gonna keep this guy in the bucket for now just so we don't catch him again. There he goes. And for this puffer fish, we're gonna go find him home right now. We'll keep an eye on him, buddy. You better behave yourself. How many do you think are left? Probably, well, we got four left now. Mm, I think four sounds right. All right, so there should be four more fish in here, guys. I don't know. I don't see the $3,000 yet. I'm gonna be honest. I'd say all the fish that we caught so far may be like $1,000. I don't know how much they were, but I don't think it would be $3,000. You just wait. <laughs> Oh, the pond's so deep. Oh, oh, yes, I got a fish. What the heck is that? I don't even know what that is. What the heck? What is that? The man said it's like a shark. A shark? I've never seen that before. Helen said it's some sort of shark. Oh yeah, you can see where they get that name for sure. He kind of looks like a koi, guys. Comment down below. If you know what this fish is, that's really cool. Another fish I've never seen before, which believe it or not, it's like very hard to accomplish that. You know, find me a fish I haven't seen before. We're gonna find a spot to put this guy and then we have three more fish left. Where did you find this stuff? Like the dark web? I think we're gonna add this guy to the mini pond. He looks friendly. He should do good in here. There you go, buddy. See you later. Wow. Now we have three more fish. That had to be like 20 bucks, Helen. 20 bucks? Yeah. Maybe like 175. You paid 100 bucks for that thing? If you spent $3,000 on fish, I'm expecting something crazy, like a freaking arapaima or something. I don't even know. <laughs> Actually, they're like really small. So it might be kind of hard. I'm gonna use the other net then. Hold on. Oh, oh my God. Is that a ripsaw? Oh, it's the tiniest ripsaw I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, look at that ripsaw catfish, you guys. That is so cool. Look at this, you guys. Oh my God, he's so cool. Look at the spines. Wow, those are sharp. So that's right here is a ripsaw catfish. We have some really big ones. They're actually one of my favorite fish, so this is really cool. I've never seen one this small, so this is awesome. Helen, good job. I literally love ripsaws so much, so. We're gonna find a spot to put this guy probably in the tank in the fish room. We'll let him get big in there and then one day he'll turn into a monster. These tanks are insane. All right, so what's that? Two more fish after this guy? We got two more left? Yeah. There you go, little guy. He is so adorable. Look at this. He kind of looks like the little giraffe nose catfish down there. Wait. Is that a giraffe? No, no, that's a rib saw. I never noticed how similar they look. Okay, I'm really excited, guys. My expectations are literally like this big. I'd say all the fish so far are probably like $1,000. Both of these fish should equal 2,000 or you got scammed, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Where are these things? Oh my God, I'm catching nothing but platies. Where are these fish? They're oh. not in here. Oh my God. So I've been netting it for no reason. Where are they? That was the whole point. I put them aside because they were the best ones and I forgot. Oh my God. She's got a bucket. What is in the bucket? Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. I don't, you open it. Oh my, okay, are they both in here? Just one. Just one? I got two different buckets. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even want to look. You guys, I'm so nervous. Okay, two fish left. They should both be like $1,000 each, okay? Or you got scammed. Just, just do it. What is in the bucket? Oh my, oh my, oh my, what is that? Helen. Like. What is it? What the heck? Oh, look at his whiskers. Wait, it's got such long whiskers. It's some sort of catfish. I can't tell what it is. Tigrinus? No. No? Do you know what it is? What is it? I know what it is. Do you? What are you, buddy? Oh, whoa, whoa, he's so fast. Hold on, you guys. Is that a Dorado? A silver Dorado? No. No? I got him. I got him. Look at he's going crazy. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. You no. Know what it is? Uh, oh, my God. No way. What? Where did you get that? 
I've literally always wanted one. Oh my god! Tell me what it is. Dude, it's a Pariba. No way. I love it. I've I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> Catfish, as you know, is like my favorite type of fish. And this right here is an insanely rare one. It's called a Pariba. Crazy thing about this guy, the reason I've always wanted one is I think it's actually the world's biggest catfish. Don't quote me on that, but I think it, it's it's definitely one of the biggest. His whiskers are longer than his body. One fish left, guys. I think what we should do, uh, I have a fish tank in a fish room. Let's get the Pariba in the fish tank. We'll find out what the last fish is. All right, guys, check it out. Right here, this is the fish tank we used to have the gulper catfish in. We still have him. Don't worry, he's over here. You can see his little butt right there. He just ate. He's nice and fat. But we cleared this fish tank out. It's ready to go. And I think this is the perfect spot to put the Pariba, get him nice and big. Oh my gosh, look at him. Hey, little guy. There you go. There you go. Wow. Look at that fish. That is actually insane looking. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one in person either. He's in his new home right now and he's going to get monster. That is actually like nuts. I can't believe I'm seeing it right now. I've never seen one before. I've always wanted one. Helen, thank you so much. That is actually insane. Wow. Oh my God. Here it is. The final fish, guys. Tell me what it is. No. Tell me. No. What is it? I don't even know. Like, I have no guesses. I'll open this one. I'll do it. Open it? I'll do it. Sure. Yes. It's a giant arapaima. No, that's it's... illegal. Well, here we go, guys. Three, two, one. I'll show them before you look. I'm not looking. I'm literally not looking. Do you see it? Oh. You want to look? Oh. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. There's no way. Look at it. It's beautiful. I'm literally crying right now. It's a, that's a platinum. That's not even a phantom. You guys, this right here is a platinum red tail catfish. They are insanely rare. I've never even seen one before. It's just a little baby. I'm crying. Oh my God, I can't even see with the tears. You know, red tail catfish are literally my favorite fish. A while back, we came across a big one. Her name was Sweet Cheeks and she was actually a phantom red tail catfish. So not the same as this one, but this one right here is actually way more expensive and way more rare than a phantom. I don't even know what to say. Where did you find this? I don't even want to like grab it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Look how fat he is. You guys, this is actually insane right now this is a platinum red tail catfish you can see the platinum i mean look look at it. there's no black on it that's literally like a grade a oh yeah the guy at the store said it was a grade a yeah i mean guys there's no black at all so the pricing all this stuff the rarity it goes by how much black is on them if it's all white it's grade a it's expensive that's what this is. there's not a speck of black on that fish you guys this was definitely a great idea give helen some love in the comments if you want us to do this again just let us know we have to i mean this was insane final fish guys that was this is my dream that's my dream fish look at this little guy we're gonna have to find a spot for him right now i want to put him somewhere where he's not gonna get eaten no other fish picking on him so i'm thinking we have the fish tank in my room with the goonch the vampire fish what if we take all of those fish and bring them to a fish tank in the fish room and that's gonna be his home that's gonna be little platinum red tail's home please comment down below a name for our new red tail i am so happy right now this is actually insane let's go catch all the fish out of the fish tank and we're gonna get this guy in there all right here we go guys we're gonna get started with catching all these fish we're gonna start with the vampire fish there we go there goes one there's two look at the teeth on these guys ow oh ow 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 okay there you go <laughs> there's the teeth here we go last vampire fish got him there's number three this one's actually the red tail oh there he goes all right let's get this goonch out he's in the pipe you're gonna have a goonch friend in your other fish tank buddy come on all right look at that we got him look how big he's got and look at that goonch there you go buddy oh my god oh look there's slippy our lungfish you're gonna have a lungfish friend in your new tank there's little slippy there you go big guy there's our vampire placo gotcha oh look at that placo that is so cool all black with the white dots that is beautiful there he goes, okay. I believe we have two more fish and they're both right here in the corner, actually. That is a sick fish right there. He's gotten huge in here. Go, 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 all right. And we got him, sweet. Last fish going into the bucket. Look how cool that bicer is, black and yellow. There he goes. All right, guys, so now we're gonna put all those fish that we just caught out into this fish tank. Now we're getting more tanks soon so we can spread them out. But right now they should be good in here. There's only a couple of fish. We got the gooch. We got the firewood, and then we got that big long fish that we caught recently. All right, first up is all the vampire fish. We got three of them. There, there you go, let go. Oh my God, let go. 
Let go, there we go. Next up, we got this guy, beautiful clown knifefish. Look at the dots on him. And there he goes, sweet. And next, we got this guy, our little goonch catfish. Oh my gosh, wow. He's ready, he's ready to go. Look at that, little vampire Placo, ornate Fischer. Going into the tank, there they go. Oh, look at that Placo, that is so cool. And lastly, we got our guy Slippy. We're actually gonna put this guy in the tank down here, just cause we already have a massive lungfish in there. I don't know if they would fight. So here we go, we're gonna get him into the tank. You behave, Slippy. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> now, moment you've all been waiting for, we got our platinum red tail catfish. We're gonna move him into that tank inside right now. That's gonna be his domain. Let's go get him into his new tank. Look at the like chrome and like reflection off of it. He looks like he's silver. I mean, oh my gosh, that is actually insane. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. He's so adorable, look at him. All right, here we go. We're gonna add him in. Oh my gosh, look at him go, look at him. Oh my gosh, he looks so good. As you can tell, guys, I really love my red tail catfish. He has this whole tank for himself right now. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was literally insane. Shout out to Helen. You found some insane fish. I don't know how you did it. Guys, if you want to see us do another one of these videos, comment down below. But yeah, we got some sweet new additions to the fish room today. Comment down below names for all the fish, especially that platinum red tail. But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please go down there, leave a like, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.